Enterprise networks face unprecedented challenges as hybrid work, IoT devices, and cloud applications converge to create complex management demands. And with security threats evolving and IT teams stretched thin, AI-powered networking solutions have emerged as a critical response. Joining me today is Dobius Van Ingen from HPE Aruba Networking to explain how intelligent automation is transforming enterprise connectivity. Dobius, thank you for being with us. Oh, thank you very much for inviting me. So how does Aruba Networking Central simplify network management? Yeah, I've been thinking about that a lot. And the way I want to explain to you, did you have children? Adult. Adult, but they have been living at home once, no? Right? Yes. And did they play video games? Of course. And too much? All the time. Okay, let me ask you. And they complain sometimes that they were lagging behind, they got less latency, they blame the Wi-Fi or the infrastructure? Right. Okay, let me show you one thing. This actually is my house, real-time life. Okay. So I'm not sure my children will be happy right now, but let's see. So I click on them. And what we are doing, every client that is connecting to the infrastructure, we profile them. Meaning I can click on the clients and I can show you search for Sony, for example. And I find my Sony devices. But if I want to do this more easily, I can show the classification. You can see I have Samsung, I have dishwashers, I have everything in my house. So I can show you that, and even better, I can give you a full-blown view of, of, of what's going on there. But let's get back to this Sony. So we go back to Sony, and now my, one of my children is going to complain. They lose, and they always blame, blame the network. So I can show it to you here, the full-blown connectivity. I can give you the connectivity performance and hoover over what is happening at what moment in time. So you immediately know right performance or not. I can even give you the full view of the connectivity steps. In this case, everything is green, so I can say you're just a bad player yeah. and you're not, the network is not the problem. Or I can look at the classification, let's say maybe security-wise is going on. Gaming platforms, Sony, PlayStation, time on the network, the different application they're using. I can even compare PlayStations with each other and I can see if there's maybe roaming problem from one X point to the other. We do this for both wired and wireless. So this way, we give you an optimized experience full visibility, and we can immediately look at security from one single platform. So you can see the devices, but how do you know who access and when they access those devices, and can you secure it? That's a good question. So let's look. We just saw the amount of application and everything, but we can even click on application here, and we can see exactly what application is being used. And if I click on PlayStation, here I can even dive in what is the application, but also what is the upstream, downstream, what is the latency? So in general, what is the health of the application performance that I'm accessing? And we do this for wired and wireless. So we can even compare if there is a difference between the two. Now, does AI help with understanding what's happening in, for instance, a home, both wired and wireless? It's a good question. So AI is a big term in this industry. You've probably heard on this event also, right? A little. But let's talk about, I think it's easier to talk about what can AI do for you. So how can it make me more visible, more efficient, make my life easier? So if I go back to the site, I go back to the site, you have a little brain here I can tick on. And now out of a sudden I get to my network optimization or security, I can get in-depth advice on how I should upgrade my firmware or how I should move from a better security environment and what is the impact on the clients and maybe don't support this or in this particular case let me show you one nice one this is my house again you probably see the playstation again i can click on it and say okay give me a recommendation who is talking to what and i can immediately implement a policy on it so that's how we can start maybe not talk about ai it is ai but let's talk about how we make life of people easier and more secure so how do you see AI shaping the future of networking? Yeah, so what we do is we now have all this access point. We have all the, all the, the, the wired switches, all the devices that we have. We're using them as a sensor. So we're collecting the data, send it into a central data lake, and then we can do smart things to optimize them, make it easier to troubleshoot, giving better visibility to do better security. So what kinds of enterprises would benefit from AI in the network? I was hoping you asked me a question, which one not, actually? Because if you're looking at it, it's, I think, every, you know, education, hospitality, healthcare, industry, I think they all benefit from it. 
and maybe it's a little bit more verticalized in some form, maybe optimize OT or an industrial line or a student. But in the end, I think we need to provide best experience to people that are accessing our infrastructure, regardless of the vertical market. Well, Dobias, thank you very much for showing us this platform. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time. Thank you.